Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Adida Flight 009 sunglasses. But first off, we thank today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 56 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge, and these frames have this really cool single bridge aviator design to them. The exact colorway that I have on for today's video have their black iron frames and then the lenses here are their golden amber lenses. And these golden amber lenses I believe are a category 2 lens. However, I couldn't definitively find any information on Dita's website about the exact category of these lens. But category 2 lenses are going to be a lot less dark than a traditional category 3 lens. And because of that, you can totally wear these indoors and they're also great for overcast days as well. I actually wear these indoors all the time. I think they look really cool. And when wearing these indoors, they're not going to block too much light. So they're definitely very dailyable indoors. They're not going to darken your vision too much. And you can basically wear these like you would a pair of blue light blocking lenses. Uh, you just kind of put these on, you kind of forget about them, uh, that you're even wearing them when you are indoors, which is pretty cool as well, because they do add a really unique style to them. And again, they're also going to be absolutely amazing for those overcast days. And they actually kind of make colors pop and add a little bit more vibrance to the world on those kind of rainy overcast days. Uh, so I would definitely recommend these for uh, those types of purposes. But on the other hand, I would definitely not recommend these for bright summer, you know, beach days or anything like that. They also do have non-polarized lenses as well, so not going to help reduce glare uh, from the ocean. Now, if we take a closer look at the lenses, we can see they say Dita Flight 009 there, etched on the lens for authentication purposes. And these frames are completely made out of titanium, so they they're extremely, extremely lightweight. So you can wear these frames all day without any discomfort. They come in at 27 grams, which is really, really nice. And the optical clarity of these is really good, but they're not going to have quite as good scratch protection as all glass lenses. And they're also not going to offer quite as crisp optical clarity as an all glass lens, even though they are very similar. Now, if we take a look at the outside temple of the frames, we can see this really sleek kind of etched titanium, which looks really nice. And then moving down to the outside left ear rest. We can see this little Dita badge, which looks really nice and classy as well. Now, these frames also have very nice and premium three barrel all metal hinges, and they feel really nice and uh, premium when open up and when closing them. And they also have these beautiful little golden titanium nose rests as well, which definitely add to the look of these frames and the feel as well. These feel great on the nose. And now if we take a look here at the inner right temple of the frames, we can see they say a uh, flight 009 and then made in Japan. And if we take a look here at the the other uh, inside temple we can see it says Dida and some of the uh, frame information on there as well. Now, as far as styling goes, I really do love the look of these frames, especially with the singular uh, bridge here at the top of the frames. It kind of just disappears. You don't really notice the fact that it is a single bridge pair of sunglasses until you look a little bit closer, and then you can kind of notice that the uh, second bridge there is missing. So definitely a really cool styling uh, element about this with the single bridge here. And I really, really do like the look of these frames uh, on face. Uh, now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, unfortunately, these frames are not going to offer the best coverage from sun and that's because they only have a four base curve to them so here up top we can see there's a pretty big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected and then here on the side again there's a massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected but the lenses are treated with this really nice ar material which is going to help uh, reduce sunlight coming and bouncing off the lens at an angle causing eye discomfort now, as far as pricing goes, these are going to run you $650 directly from Dita's website and in most stores. However, I am selling this used pair on my website for, I believe, $329.99. So I'm going to leave a link down below directly to our website, shadedreviewstore.com, if you are interested in pick up a pair of these sunglasses uh, for yourself. Overall, these are in a really good condition, uh, basically almost like brand new, but they are missing the original box and just have a little, little bit of wear on the frames, but they are still going to be good to go for a very, very long time. Well, that's all I got for us in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.